Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on the Jack O' Lantern slash pumpkin. We have two of them behind me right now. And uh, I showed you guys a couple days ago. We're going to get started on that. I want to let you guys know we're going to be going back to the regular content pretty soon here. The reason why we've been doing all this been house tutorial, house tutorial is because uh, I've been just trying to get all of these out for you guys before Halloween comes up because there's no point in doing them if you guys can't build them for Halloween. Um, so you guys have been asking me to do tutorials on all the Halloween houses, which I'm glad. So that's why I've been working really hard on doing these. But we'll be going back to regular content soon. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go get started on this. What you're going to need for this is pumpkin, orange stained clay, lava bucket, or any kind of just lava in general. You need a lot of it. Um, oak leaves, diamond hoe, or any kind of hoe. It could be a basic hoe, whatever kind of hoe you want it to be. <laughs> uh, pumpkin seeds and gravel. And this is all stuff we're going to need for the outside. We're going to need some other stuff as we get indoors. Um, but for now, this is what you need. The other inside stuff is really not that important. Um, as always, if you guys actually build the house, feel free to send me a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter. I love to you know, check out your guys' builds and what you guys have done with the houses. And I probably will retweet it. So anyway, let's go and get started. So for the pumpkin house, you actually have to build it inside out because as you guys can see, the whole texture of the house is made out of pumpkin. And if you're on survival mode, I definitely recommend you having a duplication glitch. Or if you you know if you can switch over to creative temporarily, then come back because it's gonna be really hard to build this out of pumpkin because pumpkin is one of the rarest. I think it's the rarest item in Minecraft. So go ahead and go on the inside. That's what I'm saying. You have to build it indoors or inside out because the faces have to face indoors. Okay. So place a block wherever you want your house to be. It's gonna be the left side of it, and we're gonna be going that way. Okay. So once you have that, you're gonna go 15 blocks to the left. A total of 16 blocks. We already have one there. It's so 15. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It'll be a total of 16 though again guys. And we're going to have to go straight up like this because uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but pumpkins you can't place on top of nothing. So you have to, you know, build them, you know, like this. You can't place them on top of nothing. So you have to make sure we have to build the whole thing and then we can add the face. Okay. So from right here on the one of the either side, you want to go up 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? And then on this side, do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oops, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15. And make sure they line up to make sure you count it correctly on both sides. Just kind of double check yourself. Okay? And now what you want to do is, like I said, we can't place them on top of nothing, so we can't just do the face like as we go, which I would like to do. We actually have to build all of this up and then remove blocks to make the face. So all you have to do is just go like this all the way straight up till we get to the same height as the side pieces we have right here. Okay, so now that you have all of that filled up, it should be you know 16 blocks total, 16 blocks to the right, 16 blocks high, and yeah, so it should be perfect. Okay, so what you want to do now is find your center blocks. To so do this, all you have to do is come to the left side and add, you know, count to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit that block out. And then do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hit that block out. And that's our center right there. And you want to leave those down like that just because this is going to be kind of just a measure. We're going to need it later. But for right now, it's just a measure where how we're going to make our face. Okay. So what you want to do now is go to the center blocks we have right here. Go up two. And on the third block, remove one. And then the same thing on this one, remove one. Just like that. And you're going to go to the right side, two blocks, one, two. Left side, two blocks, one, two. Then the left side, you want to go diagonal, one block. And then again, you want to go to the left, one block. Then you want to go diagonal, one block. And then go up two blocks from there. So it should look just like this. Feel free to pause it and look at yours to make sure it's like this. The face, this, this is the hardest part of the house is doing the face. So feel free to pause it any time to make sure you have everything accurate. And we're going to do the same thing we did over there on this side. Diagonal, two blocks. Diagonal, one block, then add another block to the right. Then go diagonal one block, then go up two. Okay, just make, just make sure you guys have it like this. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go diagonal one block from there, like this. Then diagonal once again and remove that block right there. Then do the same thing on this side. Diagonal one block from this spacing. Again, one diagonal block spaced, and then remove the center block. And then all of these blocks right here in the center, you just wanna remove them all the way like this. Okay. And the good thing about using pumpkins is they actually have the borders on them so you can tell how you can count the blocks pretty easy. So go ahead and take a look at yours. Make sure you have the smiley face. Feel free to pause it, rewind, whatever you got to do. Okay. So you should be good. And now what you want to do for the eyes is go to the mouth, the corner of the mouth, you know, right here. And go three blocks up. And on the fourth block, remove it. And take that up four blocks. Or three blocks from which one we already removed. So one, two, three. A total of four blocks, though. You should be two away from the top and two away from the side. Okay. And then with that, what you want to do is go down one block and then go two and then remove two. So it should be three blocks removed right there. Okay. 
And then you want to do that again, but you want to go down four blocks now, like this, okay? And then do that again, but you want to remove three blocks this time, one, two, three, and then right here just remove two, like that. So it should look just like this. If it doesn't look like that, you did it wrong. <laughs> so make sure you have it just like that, okay? And now we're going to come over here and do the same thing. Go up three blocks, oops, up three blocks, fourth block, remove it, then take it up three more blocks. Then next to that one, take down three. Then, you know, do the same thing, but now go down floor. And then go to the right and do the same thing. And then remove two, just like this, okay? And switch your eyes, should look like, again, the thing about pumpkins is perfect, you can count the blocks, so just go ahead and pause it if you need to. This is what you just had, and this is honestly the hardest part of the house, like not even joking, the rest of it's so easy from here. So if you have this done, give yourself a round of applause, you've done the hardest part of the house, and let's get on to the rest of it, okay? So now what you wanna do is you wanna come back here, you know, go to the left side of your house, and you wanna go to that side, 15 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then do the same thing on this side, just go 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I didn't make like a counting song. <laughs> okay. And then just go ahead and connect those, just like this. Spring all the way across, really simple. Okay, perfect. Oops, oh, one more. And then what you want to do now is take these corners up 15 blocks as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then double check yourself. Just go ahead and look across from you and make sure it's the same height as the front. We have our Ender Dragons down there if you haven't seen the tutorial on that. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's in my channel if you guys haven't seen it. Then on this side, do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I hope I'm not counting too fast for you guys. It's really simple. All of it's gonna be 16 blocks high in total, but since we already have a row, we're counting 15, okay? So now, since like I told you guys before, you can't add a uh, pumpkin on top of nothing, which is why we can't place a block like this. So we're actually gonna have to fill in all of this, just like this, all the way up until the top. So you're just gonna take it like this and bring this all the way around and take it all the way down to the left and then you keep doing this. And what you want to do is do that all the way until we get to the same height as our our face and the same height as our little like poles we made here, our little like uh, corners. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead, but feel free to pause it real quick and go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that you have everything filled in like this, it should look like a big giant old pumpkin. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is, like I told you, and you already know this at this point, is you can't place pumpkins on top of stuff. So in order to make our roof, what you're gonna do is go one block above where our roof would go and place our orange clay just like this all the way across and we're going to take this whole thing out. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward real quick. We're just going to fill this whole thing up. Okay, so now that you have that done, we're going to, you should have like this little temporary roof. Uh, and what you're going to do now is take our pumpkin and we're just going to do the same thing we just did there but on top because now we can place them. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that you have that filled in, what we're gonna do now, and make sure you guys have that filled in if you haven't already, just go ahead and pause it and do that. Okay, so what you need to do now is we're gonna make the stem. Okay, so it doesn't sound weird when I say this, but if you even look at the actual pumpkin, the stem is not centered, it's not really centered perfectly. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna have it going the opposite direction of these stems, to be honest. And we're just gonna place it kind of not like perfectly in the center, we're just gonna kind of find the center of your house. It just kind of drop. there's not like any kind of center spot really. Just kind of find the general center and just place the blocks in front of you guys. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to place down a, we'll take two blocks down anywhere and then go diagonal and take two out again. Then diagonal those blocks, take out two blocks, two twice, twice diagonal. Then do it on this side, twice diagonal. Oops, don't want to do that. Twice diagonal. And then you want to remove these three blocks that would have, that, were, that are keeping them from connecting like this. Oops again <laughs> and then remove all these blocks in the center right here okay and now what you want to do is go down the middle using yellow wool okay oops just like that and then you want to go down the sides using hay okay and then do the borders using black wool oops sorry about that guys these last two you want to do black wool as well let's go take a look at it just make sure you guys have it correct like this that's what it's gonna look like, okay? 
And this is what it'll look like from the top. It's, you know, it doesn't, it's kind of just, you know, it's a three, it's kind of like the pumpkin stem on these. It doesn't really look like a stem, but it's just what we can do. I actually made a stem on the original version over there out of wood and it looked really dumb. So we're just gonna go with this. You can't even really see it to be honest once you're down here. But that's what I came up with for it. I think it looks okay. Okay. So now that you're done with that, let's get started on the lava. Okay, so now we are inside here. It's kind of dark as you can tell. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to, actually I'll take a night vision potion to make things a little easier for you guys to see. A lot of you are wondering why I didn't use jackal lanterns for the inside and the reason why I didn't do that is because of what I'm gonna show you guys right now is the lighting effect. If I made this out of jackal lanterns, it actually lights up on the outside too. Which is kind of cool, but then it's not cool in the same sense because it makes the lights and the eyes not stand out as much. So that's why I use regular pumpkins. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the lava, like I said. So what you're going to do is use your orange stained clay, and you're going to take basically this bottom row right here, and you're going to take a block and just bring it across this entire thing like this. Okay? You're going to do that one more time on top of, like, next to that. Then on top of that row, you're going to do one more row on top of that, just like this. And then you're going to remove the row below that. Okay, so we're making just kind of like, in a sense, a little cradle for the lava to land in. Okay? Then we're going to go all the way up and we're going to remove this whole, oops, this whole top row right here. Just like this. All the way until we get to the other side right here. And boom, we're here. Okay? And once you do that, this is the easiest part. Just throw your lava across like this. And make sure you don't miss any pumpkins because if you do, it'll make the lava all weird. And if you did it correctly with the catcher and everything down there, you should see the lava fall through like this, and this makes it the lighting effect. You can't really tell now, it just looks like lava, but if we go to nighttime, you really get to see, especially we're also drinking a night vision potion. If you go to the night vision potion, you can see it still, but let's go to nighttime real quick, quick uh, real quick, and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Boom, now you can see how it glows in the dark. And if we would have made the whole thing out of jack-o'-lanterns, it would have just kind of looked like it did during the day, like all the same color. Uh, that's why I didn't do it like that. And it looks awesome like this. Okay, let's go ahead and do the rest of the stuff. Okay, so now we, what you're going to need for the outside part is you're going to need oak leaves, pumpkin, uh, diamond hoe, or any kind of hoe, um, gravel, uh, bone mill, and pumpkin seeds. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is the pumpkin, or the pumpkin, the oak leaves. Uh, normally on my houses I put, I put a, what's called glowstone underneath the leaves because it makes them glow a little bit. But like I said, with this house you want to make as little light on the outside as possible to be honest, just so you can make the eyes stand out as much as possible. Okay? So you're going to leave this space right here like this, open like that, and we're going to take this around the entire length of the house. Okay, now that we're back right here, we went around the entire length of the house. What you want to do is come right here to this side right here, and you want to take the gravel out, um, let's just say from where we were, let's say uh, seven blocks. So we did two already, so then three, four, five, six, seven. And then just, you know, add that up to the same. And we'll, we'll adjust that probably anyway. It doesn't really matter right now. Just to make sure you have it just somewhat out a little bit. And just fill that full, uh, with the gravel. Just like this. Okay. One more. Alright, perfect. So what you want to do now is we are going to fake plant pumpkins. <laughs> and what you want to do is come right here and go one block away from the, uh, one block away from the, um, what's called, this gravel. And one block away from the plant. And place a pumpkin. Then space, place a pumpkin, space, place a pumpkin, and space, place one. See, how many did we do in the first one? I'm sorry about this, guys. Yeah, we did four. Okay, I just want to make sure on that. Okay, so go ahead and place it one more right there. We're going to move the gravel out one more block. So I was saying, we're probably going to need to adjust that. And then do the same thing on this side. Just copy the side next to us. All right. And then we're going to leave a... Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start planting these now. So what you're going to do is use your diamond hoe and remove the block next to it. Place your pumpkin seed. Diamond hoe, or whatever you call this, um, I don't know what you call this, plowing the ground, I don't know. <laughs> Just plant it. <laughs> plant your pumpkin seed, do it right here, plant your pumpkin seed, do it right here, plant your pumpkin seed. Do it on this side as well. Plant your pumpkin seed, this side, plant your pumpkin seed, this side, plant your pumpkin seed, this side, plant your pumpkin seed, and then we're going to do the same thing again, over here, space, then place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin. Over here again, place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin, place a pumpkin. And this part you actually could do jack-o'-lanterns if you want, if you don't really care about the way that, I like the way it looks natural, the vine and everything, so that's why I did it like this, but if you don't need, if you don't want to, you can use jack-o'-lanterns right there. But again, it does kind of detract, uh, distract from the light of the face. Okay. And do the same thing, you know, just hoe the ground, then you want to place your seeds, just like this. And then do the same thing on this side. Hoe the ground. 
Then you want to place your seeds. And then this is the part where you have to be careful because I always do this and I miss. And then if you miss the bone meal, it's going to put like leaves and, or not leaves, but like grass and stuff everywhere. So make sure you're really accurate. Just use our bone meal. If you want to wait for them to grow, you can do that too. And just let them all, you know, connect. Okay. Just like so. Hope we actually missed these two. Ooh, we missed that one a few times. <laughs> Alright, we go over to this one right here. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. That is the official planting sound. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> okay, almost done with these. Okay, so now that you have that done, I know I said stuff about the, uh, you know, I had to just deter from the light, but these horses don't produce that much light. What I did is I put a torch behind each pumpkin. And it makes the pumpkins glow a little bit, but it doesn't distract too much from the lava. I didn't do it behind that, those ones though, just these ones like this. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Just like so. And now we are going to make our walkway to get into the house. So just go ahead and take three blocks out like this, and then go downward. And all you want to do is go down to where you can get, so it'll be three stairs basically. Um, I have bedrock right here. I actually would recommend going down four, but I have bedrock so I can't do that. And you're just gonna, I'm just gonna put this right here for a placeholder for now. And just dig straight up until you get inside. You can remove, oh, you can't remove that actually. That's the lava base. So we're gonna go forward another block. Okay, there you go. Just want to make it so where you can get out. Let's go actually go one more actually. Okay, so let me count that out for you guys. So it'll be a block of three stairs and it'll be, can't even see. <laughs> Four blocks of uh, just straight walking and then three more stairs to get in here. All right, and that is it really. That is actually the entire thing. We are gonna do the inside now, but if you guys were here just to build the outside and if you just wanted this for like, you know, a statue type thing in your world, you guys are done. If you guys hit like, that'd be awesome. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share the video with your friends, all that great stuff. Subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials, all kinds of Minecraft stuff. But anyway, if you're here for the actual house part, let's get right into it. Okay, now for the inside, for right now, all you're going to need is orange uh, orange stained clay and you're going to need glass. Okay, so what you're going to do first is we're going to basically clean this entrance up a little bit. So if you stuck around this long, you're getting a little bit something extra that those that didn't stick around for the house part are, are didn't get. Okay, so what you're going to do is just kind of clean this area up. Get rid of this dirt if you want. You can leave it. I'm going to leave it like that actually, this part right here. I'm going to leave it all as grass right here. And then just from right from this way, that way, start replacing all this dirt with the orange stained, uh, orange stained clay. Just to make it look a little cleaner once you're like, you know, it's kind of like this is the separation from outside inside. You want it to be clean. And we're doing the whole inside. You can do you can change the inside up if you guys want as much as you guys want. Um, I'm just doing it all out of orange stained clay because I feel like it, you know, it feels more like a pumpkin, you know? So let's go ahead and just you know, remove everything that I was telling you guys. Just have that separation between outside and inside. Okay. And you could even put a door right here if you wanted to, or right here. But I'm gonna leave mine open because you don't have to worry about mobs for me personally. But if you do have to worry about mobs, then I would definitely put a door there. And then we're gonna also replace the um, this little these inside dirt blocks with the orange stained clay as well. Okay. So now that you have that, let's get inside the. Basically, we're just gonna put every this orange stained clay everywhere because I'm sure you don't want these pumpkins staring at you all the time. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna do the floor first real quick. We're just gonna go ahead and make a little flooring range right here. You're just gonna take this little stripe we already have and bring it out one past the staircase we already made and do it right here as well. And then fill in this whole floor with that same stained clay. Or stain, yeah, stained clay. And this little gap right here, you can fill it in or not fill it in, it doesn't really matter. But let's go ahead and fill this all in real quick. Okay, so now that you have all that done, all you're gonna do is take what we already have here and bring it straight up because you don't want this raw lava here the whole time. Okay, so just go ahead and fill all of this up like this. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it, but this is what you're gonna do. Okay, now that you've done that, we're gonna do the same thing pretty much and just do all of these walls. So you're just gonna take the orange stain clay. This is just a lot of repetitive, like, you know, placing a blocks for that's why I'm skipping ahead so much. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just take what we already have here, and you're just gonna take this and bring that all the way up too, just to the roof. Okay, so once you have that done, all you have to do is just find the center. So this is where you're gonna decide whether you want your room to be, or your house to be three stories or two stories. I'm making mine two, so I only had decorations for two rooms, but if you wanna make it three, all you have to do is go up three blocks and then place a fourth and go three blocks, 
then uh, place the fourth, and then, or you could even do four actually, to be honest, do floor high. But um, what I did is I'm gonna do two. So what you wanna do for two is go right here to the wall and go one, two, three, four, five, six on the seventh block, place a block, and that is the center. And we're just gonna fill this whole floor in real quick. And this is gonna be our division basically between the bottom floor and the top floor. All right, so once you've done the floor, now we're gonna add our windows to get a little sunlight in here. So what you're gonna do is go to the corner, go diagonal one, remove that. Go to the top, go to the corner one, diagonal, move that one out. Same thing over here, diagonal one, remove it. Diagonal one, remove from the bottom. And hit all those pumpkins out, okay? And now what you wanna do basically is connect all of those. You're just gonna remove everything. Remove the pumpkin, the clay, everything. Just remove all of this and do it from the bottom as well. Just remove all of this stuff out of here. This is where our window's gonna be. You don't have to have a window if you don't want to. I just think it looks better because a little bit more lighting here if you're using it as a house. Okay, almost done here. I'm not gonna fast forward this part because it's pretty simple. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is place the glass back here on this pumpkin part. You can use glass panes if you'd like. I'm just gonna use glass blocks as they're a lot easier to place for tutorials. So if you guys want to use glass panes, I'm sure they'll look better actually. Okay, so you should have this. Now we're going to go ahead and take this upstairs. Go one block away from the wall. And then go ahead and upstairs, go, you know, take this block all the way up and remove two blocks right here. That's my brow ladder is gonna go later. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. Go to all the corners, remove the two blocks, just like that. Boom, boom. And then just go ahead and connect them and just destroy the all this all the stuff in the middle of this stuff, those uh, all the stuff in the middle of those corners. Okay. Maybe I should have fast forward this part. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's better just to just show you guys it real quick. You guys see back there, that's actually one of the underwater houses I built. It's not underwater, as you can tell, but I built it in the air just for the tutorial. But that's actually it, uh, it down there. Okay, so now we're going to fill this glass in again. Again, I'm using glass blocks instead of panes, but I recommend using glass panes because I think they'll look better. Okay, perfect. We are done. All right, so now we're going to go downstairs, and let's get to the furnishing. Okay, so for the interior, um, we're going to make the furniture orange too because I really want to make all this feel like it's inside of a pumpkin. So what you're going to do is you're going to need the, whatever this wood is called, this orange wood. You can see the name right there. Hopefully, if you can't see the name and you're blind, then this tutorial probably isn't helping you at all anyway. <laughs> and then we have the bookshelves, uh, orange stained clay, and then the stone slabs. So what you're going to do is go to the corners, place a bookshelf. Then both the, next to both those bookshelves, place two of uh, these orange stairs like that. And then in the middle, just place the bookshelves, just like that. And this gives a little seating area, less slash bookshelf area. And then you want to go to the, both those um, wooden stairs and go out two blocks and place a orange clay. Then the same thing over here, go two blocks, place an orange clay. And then bring these out by three, one, two, three. Same thing over here, one, two, three. Then bring both sides out one, like this. And then place our stone slabs in the middle and our little chairs right here. And then we'll put our table in the middle as well just by filling in the center with these stone slabs. There you go. And that's our chair and our little seating area. You can also decide if you wanna make more windows right here. I don't recommend it. I think the windows in the back are the only thing that looks good. You can put signs up here, you know, posters, or whatever, picture frames. But I think this looks really nice though for, you know, what it is. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs. All you have to do right here is to make our ladder real quick. Where is our ladder at? I always forget what the ladder is. It's like one of the things I always forget. Okay, there it is. And we're gonna make our staircase going straight up to the upstairs. Okay, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom. All right, now what you're gonna do is just the same thing we did downstairs, just make our little um, seats and you know, one away from, you know, place one block in each corner of the bookshelf, and then next to those put the stairs, then the centerpiece put the uh, bookshelves. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get our orange wood slabs. I don't even know how you say that word, Akia? <laughs> we're just gonna go with that, I Ikea stairs. There we go, we're gonna do is that. And find the center of the room, find the center of the room, and just go to the bookshelves and find the third on both sides right here. Let's go ahead and turn around. And place down three rows of stone slab, just like that. Then next to those, place two, like that. And then in front of the, ooh, we're running out of light here. <laughs> just go ahead and drink an night vision real quick. And then you wanna do two again, two again, and then one, next to that. And then in that spot right there, you just wanna go ahead and throw in your bed. Boom, boom. And then on both sides of the thing, we are going to get a, we're going to get our chest, we're going to get inner chest, crafting table, furnace, 
Um, we'll even grab a jukebox and anvil, <laughs> and we want to just go ahead and put our survival essentials on the sides right here. So add a you know a chest on both sides, add a crafting table on one side, add a furnace on the other side. Then you can add what else will we add? We're gonna do a we'll do a ender chest on this side. We'll do an anvil. Oops, an anvil. Then we'll do a jukebox. What else is there? We can put it here. We can put a um. What else? Let me see. You can guess you can put a brewing stand. You can technically just put the brewing stand on top of this, but <laughs> for the... I, actually, I always just put the brewing stand on top of the furnace, but you can just put it over here for now. You can find something else better to put in this spot. But that's just for right here. Okay, so that is it, guys. We are done. We have the windows done. Feel free to customize this house any way you guys would like. You guys always you can feel free to do that. Any of my tutorials, customize them as much as you guys want. But that is what I did. This is my version of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys actually built this, feel free to send me a picture of it on Twitter, Instagram. I'd love to see you. I might even retweet it, um, but I just generally love to see them and see what you guys did with it. So please do that. And hit a like. Hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys built it. And if you guys um, are new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I have tons of Minecraft tutorials. I do all the time of sick stuff like this. You got an Ender Dragon, Skull down there. All kinds of awesome houses and different things I do with Minecraft. So I definitely recommend you subscribe and uh, join. So anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. All right, guys. Welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for making it here on the right side of your screen where it says recommended video. Go ahead and click on that. And that will take you to a video on my other channel where I'm unboxing a bunch of Minecraft toys. And it's really awesome. I definitely recommend you to check that out. On the left side of your screen where it says previous video, it shows you the last video on this channel. You can click on that and that will take you over there. It is a tutorial on a Hero Brian uh, statue house, which is really, really awesome. It's crazy sick. It's like a bloody Hero Brian, murder Hero Brian. It's pretty awesome. Definitely recommend it. If you're on the mobile version, you get to both those videos by clicking the card on the top right side of your screen right now, and that'll take you to both those videos as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.